Hey everybody, I'm back with another video for you guys. I have something really exciting today. I have all the new testers, and there's a bunch of them, for the spring and summer catalog. So, I also have the new catalog. So, I'll be going over all the new scents with you guys, reading the descriptions and my opinions on them. Um, my honest opinions, because as you guys know, if you've watched my videos, I'm pretty honest. <laughs> Um, about what I like and what I don't like and stuff like that. So I'm going to go through these with you guys. There is quite a bit. Mm, should I say like 50? Let's see. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. All right. There's 30. About 30. So I was close. <laughs> Not really. But anyways, so yeah, these are all the new releases that are available on my website now. If you are interested in any of these scents, please ignore my dog. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in any of these scents, I'll leave my website in the description of the video or in the comments down below. Alright, so I'm just going to jump in. So I'm going to just go in the order that the catalog is in to make it easier for the both of us. <laughs> so um, we have first, A is for Apple. So this one... Is a green wax and since he says sweet tart granny smith and macintosh notes offer a bite of pure apple bliss all right so let's see if it really smells like apples and it does i like warming it up with my finger to get the best smell all right this smells a lot like app like apple crush that was just discontinued um so it smells a lot like that this one I like better actually. It's more of like crisp apples. Definitely the Granny Smith apple. Literally like you're biting into a juicy apple. Like the green apples I feel like. That one's really good. So if you like apple scents, A is for apple is the best one. And like this literally spelled like A is for apple. <laughs> Alright, so we have that one. I'm going to put that one in my... I'm going to put that in my like it pile because I really like it. I'm not a big apple person, but that one is really nice, like a really fresh apple scent. All right, so Accidentally in Love is the next one. It's a deep red wax, crisp, crisp gingery tangerine, and exotic palm frond. Keep things clean and bright. I'm not sure what palm frond is. <laughs> Ooh, definitely tangerine. A little bit of ginger. Ooh, I like this. Kind of reminds me of like a tea that I used to drink. I like this one a lot. It reminds me of something else. Hold on. Maybe it'll come back to me. That's another thing I like about scents is that it brings back memories. It's like a candy I used to eat too. I can't think of what that was called. But this one's really good. I actually get like a lemon smell. Is that what palm frond is? <laughs> it's like lemony. Yeah, it's definitely citrusy, and I do get the ginger too, but it's really good. So that one's Accidentally in Love. Putting that one in my like pile. I'm going to get me a sip of coffee real quick. Mm. That's some good coffee. It's kind of cold right now, though. All right, next is All You Need is Love. So this one's a brownish beige wax, and it says Whisper Sweet Somethings with coconut sugar, creamy vanilla, and bean cherry. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's see if it smells as good as it sounds. Ooh, okay. It smells like sweet cream spice. No. Coconut vanilla. I think that was what it was called. But it's really light. It's not strong, so it's kind of hard for me to smell it. But I feel like when you warm it up, it'll be stronger. But that one does smell really good. I'm going to put that in my like it pile, though. I do like that one. That'd be a good summer one. All right, next I'm really excited for aloe water and cucumber. So this one is aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond. Again, I don't know what palm frond is. Pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. I'm excited about this. I love pineapple and I love cucumber. So let's see. This one's perfect. Everything I was hoping for. I got the Pear Blossom and Cucumber Bring Back My Bar. And that one's really good. It's really light though. So I'm really excited about this one. 
Ooh, okay, that's definitely on my to buy list, so love it. <laughs> All right, next one. I've heard a bunch of people talk about this one so far. Apricot Vanilla. Heirloom Peach. I love peaches. Apricot and Vanilla Ice Cream. Tempt Fate and Everyone Else. One of Heidi's favorite. Heidi is one of the CEOs of Scentsy. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh. Kind of reminds me of sweet or southern sweet tea. Mm, southern sweet tea and like the peach. Yeah, kind of reminds me of that one. But this one's definitely one of my to buy pile with my love it. I love that one. All right, the next one, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm going to try. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> it's called Blue Hyants and oh, I don't think that's right. I don't think it's right at all. So, I know it's a flower, so, well, I'm pretty sure it's a flower. It's spelled H-Y-A-C-I-N-T-H. If you guys know how to pronounce that, put it down below for me because I'm going to need to know how to say that. <laughs> so, hyacinth, hyacinth, blue hyacinth. I don't know, y'all. Okay. It says florals from heaven. Florals from heaven, it says. Pure blue hyacinth. <laughs> Is all about the flower power. So it's definitely floral. Ooh, it's strong. Okay, if you love florals, this is a kick you in the face floral. It's a really nice floral scent though, but it's definitely strong. Like you're out there picking flowers or just, it's really florally, floral. It's nice though. It definitely smells like spring, but this is going to be in my not so favorite pile. Not for me pile is what I'm going to call it. Just I'm not a floral person. Alright, the next one's caramel sugar cone. Now, I'm a bakery person, so I'm all for this. Guilt-free gooey caramel vanilla sugar cone and a touch of malt. That just sounds way up my alley. Let's see if it smells like it. Mmm, it smells so good. Like, it would be so much better warm, too. Okay, that one's going to my... To buy? Yep, it's going to go on my favorites. I like that one. Alright, next one is Darling Dahlia. It's going to be another floral one. Heirloom Peach, Bashful Dahlia, and Strawberry Sweeten the Deal. Maybe it's not going to be so floral. It's got some fruits in there. So this one is... Uh, purple wax, which I love the purple waxes. I'm warming it up with my finger. Ooh. Okay, this one's really good. I like that one a lot. It's not really, yeah, it's not really that floral. Definitely get the peach. I get the strawberry. With like the, it's got a lot of floral, but it's not overpowering like that last one was. Um, but you definitely get the fruits with it too. I'm putting that in my likes. May possibly buy. <laughs> Alright, next one is Let's Get Punchy. So I heard this one's like literally like fruit punch. So we'll see. Stir up some fiesta worthy fun with navel orange, tropical cherry, and apple slices. I, I like all that stuff. So let's see. And it's like a reddish orange wax. Oh my gosh, this smells like straight up, is it, is it like the Capri Sun fruit punch maybe? Or, may, oh I think it's Hawaiian, Hawaiian punch, yeah I think that's what it is. I love that one, that one's going to my favorites, gotta get that one for summer. Next one is Mandarin Splash, an orange wax, since he says Mandarin goes rogue with a fresh layer of light woodsy notes. Ooh. This is going to be good. Let's see. I like that one. That one smells really good. Okay, you definitely get the woodsy note with like a hint of citrus. Let's see. That smells really good. But yeah, it's definitely woodsy. 
That smells really good. I'm gonna put that in my like pile though. All right, Midnight and Caraco. Is that how you say it? Midnight and Caraco. I'm so sorry if y'all can hear my dog barking. She's crazy. Do not ever get a Yorkie. <laughs> Alright, so Midnight in Caraco is a purple, like a deep purple wax. It says brazen notes of currant orange and Mar Maribel plum sneak out after hours. Ooh, so it's gonna be a plum scent. I'm excited about that. Ooh, that smells pretty good. It smells like something I smelled before. I can't put my finger on it. But yeah, definitely get the plum. I'm not sure what current current is or current. A hint of citrus, the orange. I get a little bit of it in the background. But yeah, it's mostly plum. So if you guys like plum, it's a pretty good one. The Midnight and Caraco, Caraco if I'm saying that right. I'm going to put that in my... Mm, I'm going to put that in my... It's like between like and not for me. But I'll put in like because it might be a pretty good one. Alright, so next one I'm really excited about. One of my favorite fruits is pineapple. So this one is pineapple pucker. It's a really pretty fun yellow wax. It says fresh pineapple steals a show in this eye-opening tropical production. So it's going to smell like straight up pineapple because that's really all that's in it. Yep, and it does. It really does. Ugh, it smells so good, you guys. Like, it smells like you're slicing up some fresh pineapple. Gosh, that was, like, so, so legit how they got it. It smelled like that. Alright, that's going to my favorites. I'm going to need to get that one. Next one is Rainforest Bungalow. It's a dark green wax. Take the road less travel through emerald palm frond, dewy lemongrass, and aloe flower. They keep going with this palm frond. That must be one of like the main scents this summer or this release. <laughs> okay, this smells like like you're literally smelling like straight up grass. I'm not gonna lie. But if you guys like that, I know a lot of people love the fresh cut grass smell because that came back with the Bring Back My Bar that everybody voted for. So if you guys like that one, this one's legit like just like grass. Or just greenery, like just leaves. But it's like, I don't know how they got that in the smell. That's literally what it smells like. You're just opening up your window and it just smells like fresh cut grass to me. So that is Rainforest Bungalow. This one's not for me though, but I know a lot of people will like this one. Next one is Sheer Leather. It's a beige color. Slip into something more sensual like bergamot and a sub subtle hint of leather and sandalwood. So this one's going to be like a masculine scent. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Ooh, okay. I was not expecting to like this, I'm not going to lie. <sighs> okay. It's like a mix between Mystery Man, Persian Lime Sandalwood. I think it is. I think that's like a mix between those two. This one's going to be in my favorites. I'm going to need to pick that up ASAP. Next one is White Grapefruit. I love grapefruit scents. So this one says, turn the other chic. C-H-I-K or C-H-I-C. So turn the other chic with polished white grapefruit and a hint of fruit nectar. Yep, smells like grapefruit. Ooh, it's like... So it's got fruit nectar. I don't know what that that's supposed to be about. But it's not like an overpowering grapefruit smell. It's a really good subtle grapefruit scent. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Okay. I think I'll put that in my like pile. It's like between like and I gotta have it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that in my like pile. Alright, so the next few scents. These are on the next page. I love how they organized it on the catalog this year. So we have Aloe Citrus. And it's like a pinkish red wax. It says a fresh tide of tangerine, jade, blossom, and vetiver. V-E-T-I-V-E-R. I'm not sure what that is. But it's a reddish wax. 
Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, that sounds really unique. I don't know if I'm going to be able to describe it. <laughs> okay, I smell a little bit of tangerine. It's not overpowering. It's not really floral, but it's... <sighs> hmm. Okay, maybe it's like... It's like a more perfumey kind of smell. Like a girly perfume smell. But that one's really nice. It's really unique. I've never smelled anything like this. But I'm going to put that in my like pile. Alright, so next one is Berry of Paradise. And since he says scrumptious, sugared, strawberry, bird of paradise, and vanilla bean. Now, I know there is a perfume that everyone says this one's a dupe for. And I think it is called Bird of Paradise. But I'm not sure who makes it or anything like that. But a lot of people love this one. Ooh, and I can see why. Okay, I think I love it too. Ooh, it smells so good. It's definitely strawberry. Straight up strawberry. It's got vanilla. Yep, I smell vanilla. Like a vanilla strawberry smell is what it smells like. That one's really good. And it's like a really pretty pink wax. That one's going to my favorites. My dad's out there working on the yard. <laughs> Alright, next one. Coastal Strawberry. I've heard this one's really nice. Um, this one is like a pink, light pink wax. It says earthy, fruity strawberry vine and raspberry seeds over jasmine petals. Ooh. It's like a floral strawberry smell. Oh, that's so unique. I love this. Okay, I definitely smell the jasmine in the background. Raspberry. Yeah, okay. I smell more raspberry now that I... Yeah, it's more raspberry than strawberry to me. That one's really good. I'm going to put that in my light pile. Alright, next one. I've heard a lot of people love this one. I actually had someone like seek me out to find this one. It's called Flower Child. And it's a pink wax. And it says, sweet red berries layered over wild gardenia and sandalwood. So I'm really excited to try this one. Ooh, okay. That one smells really good. <sighs> smells like a really like nice clean perfumes kind of smell um let's see so red berries gardenia and sandalwood it's kind of weird because sandalwood scents are usually really overpowering but I don't smell it that much in this just a really nice blend um I'm gonna put that in my light pile all right next one is gogo -Go mango it's like a reddish wax Juicy mango and melon garnished with hibiscus and sweet banana flower. I didn't know bananas had a flower. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's really fruity. Oh, I love that one. Okay, so that one is definitely mango. I smell some melon. Hibiscus. Eh. I do get a little bit of banana scent actually in the background. It's just really fruity. Like a bunch of fruit. Like a fruit salad. Kind of scent. I'm going to put that in my like pile. I'm filming a video. So you're in my video. <laughs> That's what happens when people don't knock before coming in. Alright. So next one is Havana Cabana. Luscious medley of pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. So this is going to be another fruity scent. I've heard this one's really good. So I already know I'm going to like it. Oh my gosh, okay. What does it smell like? Um, like coconut. They don't say coconut here, but it smells like a pineapple coconut drink, like a mixed drink. That one's really good. <sighs> okay, I have a, there's a candle I have from Bath & Body Works. It smells like it. And I think it's called like pineapple, pineapple leaves maybe? I don't know. That's what it smells like. This one's probably one of my favorites so far. I'm putting that in my love it, gotta have it, gonna buy it pile. <laughs> All right, so Kahiko Hula, Kahiko Hula. Um, this one is a like a light beige wax. Um, say Aloha with exotic passion fruit, mango, and papaya. I'm excited about this one. Ooh, okay. I think this one's one of my favorites now. Oh my gosh, it smells like a clean fruit, fruity, summery smell. Definitely. 
definitely gonna buy that one. So that one is Kahiko Hula. Next one's lemon sorbet. I'm not usually a big lemon person, so let's see. Fresh cut lemon and grapefruit zest sweetened by sugar cane. So let's see. Yep, it's really lemony. It kind of smells like a lemon ice pop, like you know those little ices, like the um, Italian ice, the lemon Italian ice. So it smells like kind of like lemonade too. Sounds really good. I'm gonna put that in my like pile actually. I'll, I'm surprised because I usually would put that in like my not for me, but it's it really is like a sweeter lemon smell. It's not like straight up just lemon. Next one's Lemon Verbena. Verbena. Um, it's a green wax, fresh lemon zest, bright lime, and verbena leaf. So we'll see if I like this one. Mm. This one definitely smells really clean. Okay, I do smell, it's kind of like a, like a rainforesty lemon smell. So it's not just lemon by itself, but... I actually prefer the lemon sorbet. Oh, so lemon. That last one was lemon sorbet. And I was like, it smells like Italian ice. That's basically what lemon sorbet was. Yeah. So I prefer the lemon sorbet one um, over lemon verbena. But if you like, like, wood, not woodsy smell, but like rainforest and lemon smells, you'll like it. That one would be good for, like, the kitchen. Um, lilacs and violets is purple wax. Perfect combination of lilacs and violets to smell of spring. So basically just lilacs and violets. So it's going to be really floral. But it's purple. Yeah. Not for me. Mm-mm. Oh, it smells like my granny's like perfume or something. No, way too floral. If you like lilacs, I think that's what it smells straight up, just lilacs. But... Not for me. Alright, next one is Lush Gardenia. I'm kind of thinking I'm not going to like this one, but we'll, we'll have a positive outlook about it. Let's see. The creamy full scent of classic gardenia with a whisper of tuberose. Tuberose? I'm not sure what that is, but obviously it's like a rose smell. I don't know about this one, you guys. We'll see. Okay. Mm -mm. Smells like Granny's house again. Nope. Not for me. It's very floral. Very floral. Yeah, I'm not, not a floral person. I'll just set that one in the not for me pile. <laughs> um, actually, I, I only have a few in the not for me pile. There's not many. Paradise Punch is a reddish wax. A medley of wild Indian orange and sunny lemon juice, acai berries, and star fruit. This one's going to be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this one. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm in love with this one, you guys. Yep. I'm going to be buying this one. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love that one. The berries in this one actually kind of smells like the berry that's in Blueberry Cheesecake. So, I'm in love. <laughs> All right. Next, we have Pine... Wait a minute. I'm confused now. Oh. Okay, so we had a lemon sorbet. Now we have a pineapple sorbet. I was like, didn't we already do this one? Alright, so this one I'm, I'm already going to know. I love it. If I like the lemon sorbet one, I'm going to love pineapple sorbet. Because I already love lemon, I mean pineapple. I'm getting confused. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll calm down. <laughs> so this one's a yellow wax. It says sweet and tart like a refreshing scoop of pineapple sorbet. Yep, that's what it is. Oh my gosh, this one smells so good. <sighs> Definitely sweet pineapple. Oh, now this makes me want to go get like some sorbet ice cream with pineapple. I might have to do that today. <laughs> that smells so good. I'm putting that in my love it pile. Alright, next one is Shimmer, which I've heard so many people are obsessed with this smell and I've never smelled it, so I'm really excited. They actually brought this back in the bricks just a little, um, couple months ago. So it's purple wax. I'm excited. Okay, let me read it to you guys. Sweet cherries, velvety 
apricots, and sensual white musk crowned with a tiara of shimmering spun sugar. Okay. I'm in love. I I'm absolutely in love. Now I kind of wish I would have gotten the bricks, but it's okay. I can just stock up on the bars. Okay, that smells like a perfume that I want to wear. Like, can I wear this as a perfume? <laughs> just rub it on my hand. Okay, I'm definitely going to be getting that one. So, love it. Gotta have it. Buying it. The next one I already know I'm going to fall in love with. Um, this is Sugar. It's a pink wax. Fruity blend of lemon drops and cotton candy. I'm obsessed with cotton candy. I don't know how they put lemon drops with cotton candy, so I'm kind of interested in how this is going to smell, but... I've heard it's really good, and I already know I'm going to love it, so let's see. Alright, let's warm it up with my finger. <sighs> smells like straight up cotton candy. I don't smell lemon drops. I smell cotton candy. <sighs> I'm getting this one, you guys. Gotta have it. Alright, next one is called Summer Holiday. This one's got a pretty long description. It's a mint wax. Bursting with lush... Plumeria, Tiger Lily, and Sweet Orange, softened by Vanilla and Radiant Amber. Let's see. Ooh, that smells really good. Okay, let's see. I'll warm it up with my finger. It smells like, is it white tea and cactus? Kind of similar to one of the smells we have. I think it's white tea and cactus. I have that right here somewhere. Yes, let me smell white tan cactus real quick and I'll smell it. Okay, white tan cactus. Okay, no, that's not that. <laughs> it smells like something we have though. Or maybe one that we just discontinued. I don't know, but that smells really good. I'm going to put it with my Like It pile. So that's Summer Holiday. Next one is Summer Soleil, and I feel like I'm going to be in love with this one. It's like a peach colored wax. I'm really excited about this one. Pineapple and coconut milk top fluffy vanilla marshmallow. Okay, if you guys know me, I love marshmallow scents. I love marshmallows in general. So, <laughs> let's see. Okay, gotta warm it up. Oh my gosh, okay. I think this one's, this one's probably my favorite so far now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that smells so good. Definitely, definitely fruity summer smell. Perfect summer smell. Gotta have that one. Next one is Summer Sunshine. And it's a peach colored orange wax. Pineapple and coconut bask in a warm mandarin glow. This one's gonna be good too. Alright, Summer Sunshine. That one's really good. Okay, so I get the coconut's probably the main scent in this one. And then you get the citrus in the back and then some pineapple. Pineapple is more lighter on cold sniff. But yeah, that I get the mandarin and the coconut more and then like the pineapples in the background. But that one's really good. I'm going to put that one in my like it pile. Because it's kind of light. It's not really overpowering and I like my sense like to knock me out. <laughs> so, I like that one though. Um, next one is Sweet Cucumber. It's a cucumber colored wax. Fresh apple blossoms, green melon, and sugared citrus mingle with a splash of cucumber water. I feel like this one's going to be really good. Alright, we got sweet cucumber. Alright, this one's just like the pear blossom and cucumber, but this one's stronger. This is what I was, yeah, I was really wanting that one to smell more like. Alright, I think I like this one actually more than the aloe water cucumber, is that what it's called? Yes, let's see. Ooh, wait, I don't know. I think I like the aloe water and cucumber more. This one, okay, so the sweet cucumber is more cucumbery. So if you like cucumber, definitely you're going to love that one more. But the aloe water and cucumber one has that pineapple nectar in it and the palm frond. So this one's probably one of my favorite one between the two, but I'm definitely going to be picking up both of those probably. <laughs> But aloe water and cucumber would be my pick over sweet coke cucumber, but I love them both. Alright, so next one is 
Satin Sheets, and I've heard this one's a really good one. This is a comeback. So Satin Sheets, essential and earthy sandalwood, perfectly paired with rich vanilla, rich warm vanilla. I heard this was a masculine smell, so let's see. It's just a white wax. Okay, yeah, that's masculine smell. It smells really good, though. It smells clean. It's a good mix between the vanilla and the sandalwood. The sandalwood's not too overpowering. The vanilla kind of warms it up. But it does smell like sensual. I don't know about earthy. But yeah, it's like a warm, rich, sensual smell. Uh, I'm between putting it in my like and the not for me because I'm not really excited about this one so I don't think I'm probably going to be picking this one up. But it is it is a good one. But I'm probably not going to pick it up. Watch. I'll probably pick it up though. <laughs> we'll see. The next one is Pastilios. Pastelios. It says stop for a treat on the way to somewhere magical with luscious pineapple lime and splash of dark rum. Ooh, that sounds good. It's a white, or not white, it's like a yellowish wax. Oh my gosh. Okay, I wasn't expecting to like this one. <sighs> okay, pineapple, lime, and dark rum. Yep, it smells like a really good drink, like a like Malibu with pineapple. One of my favorite drinks is just pineapple and Malibu. Yep, that's what it smells like. Alright, I like this one probably. Mm, let's see. I need to smell that pineapple sorbet again. Alright, that one's definitely more pineapple. Alright, yep. Pastilios is probably my favorite one now. Pastilios. Pastilios. I don't even know if I can say it right, but it's my favorite. Alright, number one favorite so far, Pastilios. I know I've said that like a few times, but... I keep finding new favorites. Strawberry Swirl. It's a pink, light pink wax. Frozen strawberry whipped with frothy milk and vanilla. Ooh, sounds good. Or sounds good. Warm it up. Okay. I think it's the frothy milk that's turning me off. Yep. I smelled the strawberry, but it's like the frothy milk is trying to overpower it. And it's mm, not for me. No, that one's not for me. All right, next one. Candy cane or candy crave. This one's with the children or the kids line. Let's see. I feel like I'm going to love this one though. Just the sweet stuff. Raspberry sorbet, cotton candy, and fluffy marshmallow. So like I said earlier, I love cotton candy. I love marshmallow. Here we go. Oh, and I love the sorbet so far. So I feel like this one's going to be my new favorite. Let's see. It's a blue, light blue wax. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, this one smells so good. This is probably my second favorite. No, I don't know. Alright, this one is definitely more marshmallow. Like, I'm just kind of getting the marshmallow scent. That's why I keep rubbing it to see if I can get other scents. It's like a berry marshmallow. Yeah, I smell berry. I don't know about cotton candy, though. That one's really good, though. Definitely going to be picking that one up. Last one is Weathered Leather, and I have smelled this before because we have already carried it, so I was kind of confused why they put a sample in here, but I don't have this as a tester, so I'm glad they did include it. Um, it's a brown wax. It smells like straight up leather, like cow like if you were to buy a new like cowgirl boots or like a leather couch, like legit leather. That's exactly what it smells like. Exactly. Like, I don't see how they put this into a wax. But it's not for me. I'm not a big leather person. I like the look of leather. I like the feel of leather. But I don't want to have wax that smells like leather. <laughs> so, that one's not for me. So, there's not many that aren't for me. But that was all the new scents for the spring and summer catalog. So, I'm really excited about these new ones. There's a bunch of them that I want. Um... 
like most more than half of them I want to be picking up so we're gonna have to be getting those soon <laughs> so I'm really excited like I said I think my favorite ones are the pastelios that one smells so good. Definitely my favorite one. Definitely had to be that one. That one's the one that stood out the most to me. Let's see. Habana Cabana. That one's really good. The Apricot Vanilla. Oh my gosh. You guys, there's so many that I'm going to want. Like, there's a bunch. <laughs> and I like it and got to have it piled. So... I'm really excited about this new catalog. I actually want to do a video to kind of walk you guys through the new catalog if you guys haven't picked one up yet. Um, if you guys do want this catalog, I can send you one in the mail. Um, just leave me a comment down below. It has to be in the U.S. only though, not international. But um, yeah, I'm really excited about all the new stuff. We have a bunch of new warmers, a bunch of new scents like that I just went through. And then we have new uh, scents for the car bars and the pods and the diffusers. There's just so many new stuff that just released and I'm really excited. So yeah, just leave me a comment down below if you want to know any more information. I'll leave my website down below so you can get some of these scents if you're interested. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.